Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today I want to take a look at Inbox by Gmail. So if you haven't taken a look at it yet, it's a different way to look at your Gmail and a different user face. Some people really love it, some people really hate it. Uh, but it's a, a something that might work for you. If not, it's easy to switch back and forth. Uh, so today we're going to do a little walkthrough on Inbox by Gmail. So first of all, how do you get to your inbox by Gmail? So simply just go up to your URL and type inbox.google.com. I'll put the link down below too. Uh, so it should take you there if you're using Gmail, but if you're using an apps uh, domain and it's being administered, uh, they can turn this off. So it might not necessarily work. So you gotta make sure, check with the administrator of the domain uh, that it is actually allowable on it. Uh, the other way you can do it is uh, just through your launch bar, uh, launch uh, app launcher here. Uh, you can see the different apps here. I can switch back and forth before between inbox and Gmail uh, so but what I had to do it did automatically come up there and when I went to more and checked out the Google products it wasn't there but when I went over to the Chrome store and installed it as an app and came back to that launcher then it was um, it was there and I was able to put it as a shortcut after so something you might want to do uh, so the other thing is uh, with the Gmail. So I have Gmail open right here at the same time. So we can kind of compare it uh, back and forth uh, to see how it works uh, between uh, between both. Uh, but first of all, what you notice right away is that uh, with Inbox, it's grouped in today. So I have this uh, group, they're bundled together. So you can see today and yesterday, and then it gets a little less specific as I go down. So they're trying to help you out and be able to focus on certain bundles of it. And you can create your own bundles. So if I was going to click on uh, a message I can open up my bundles if I click on this one here today uh, you can see it opens up a group here uh, which I could do mass actions to uh, to it um, I could uh, sweep it and mark them all as done and it would go into my done uh, bundle over here uh, but if I was going to just pick one at random uh, let's say this Pinterest one here was important for some reason it's not I could select this pin right here and if I select that pin, uh, it goes into an important part. So the pins are uh, as marked as important. Well, that's how I think of it. If I go up to the top and toggle this pin right here, uh, it will put all the important ones right there. So I could have this list very easy to turn it back and forth uh, with the important ones. Uh, if I, uh, I'll turn my pin on, if I go back to it, so I could unpin it, it will go back. Or if I hit the mark is done, it will take the pin off and then put it into my done uh, category over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn off the pins there. Uh, so another thing is I'm just going to uh, open up a, uh, I'll open up another thing. The other thing uh, I like is the snooze feature on it. So if I go to this uh, YouTube one, uh, we have a snooze feature, uh, snooze and tell. So maybe I don't want to open that message right away. So if I click on the snooze, you can see I have later today, tomorrow, next week. So it will come back to you. If I hit snooze, it's, uh, it's going to send it back to me when I'm ready to um, maybe read it then. Uh, the other thing that I find is neat. Uh, down below uh, so you can see I can pick date or time here but I can actually pick a place and this connects to your mobile mobile device so if you have this on your phone uh, you could say oh if when I'm at the certain restaurant please email it at that so it can detect that you're there and then it will go uh, work from there Moving over to the Compose feature, what you see here is it uh, keeps track of the last few people that you've emailed or you received, and you can quickly click on their icons and then send a direct message to right away. Uh, the other thing you can uh, click on is you can have a quick uh, way to put a little reminder in. So if I click on this reminder, I'll just type test here, uh, I'll say test note, and I can pick a time when I want it to be reminded, let's say tomorrow, or I could pick the place again if I'm gonna match it with my mobile device to know when I'm in a certain place to be reminded of something. Um, I'll just put later today. And I can also put it as a pin here too. So it's gonna be put into my important part. Uh, you can also put, uh, I'm just gonna change it. If I wanted to, uh, to have it as a, a call or an email too, uh, you could have it with the phone numbers ready uh, that way too. So I'll just put test. Uh, it's pinned later today, save. So if I turn on my pins, uh, you can see there's a reminder in there. So if you're putting a bunch of reminders there and just toggle back and forth, you can uh, quickly see the important stuff with your emails, whether it be to calls, uh, call somebody too. So I, uh, that's a handy little feature uh, to have in it. Just going down the left-hand side, you can kind of see how uh, everything's put together. I've been working uh, mainly out of my inbox. You have your snoozed ones here. If you've set any uh, snoozed uh, emails to that you can check and 
you're done one here that we you've clicked on and everything too. Uh, so just going through, you can see there is the grouping uh, here, but going down below, uh, these are the bundles here that you can group your messages into here that uh, if they come through, you can uh, just simply click on uh, the bundle and it will show you, um, it will group different things uh, together. You can create more. If I just scroll down a little bit more here, I, if you look at the create new, um, we'll just do a test one here and I'm gonna hit save here. Uh, you can see I have a few different uh, options here, automatically add messages, add, I can bundle. I don't have to make this a bundle uh, with it. So I, but let's say I'm gonna leave it as a bundle. I can, um, uh, I'm gonna just actually, I'm gonna hit the add automatically here. So this is kind of like a filter. Uh, so if I drop down, you can see if I could pick, uh, if it was from somebody, uh, then it would go into that bundle. I can add different, uh, different features if it included different subjects also. Uh, so a way to kind of organize your inbox through using the bundles here, but they don't have to be a bundle. You could turn them off and then you get, uh, you'll get them unbundled right down here. If I just go down to settings right at the bottom here, uh, what I want to show you is uh, you have a couple options here. Uh, this is the labels features, this kind of like the bundles if I want to turn them uh, back and forth. Uh, here you have your setting options to bring it back. Uh, but the uh, main thing I want to show you was the snooze. If you wanted to customize your snooze setting, uh, snooze settings, you can go through uh, in here uh, also. Uh, the signature on off, you can type your signature in here. So they have different features that uh, whether or not you kind of uh, you like Gmail or this, uh, they're different. Um, I'd have troubles leaving my Gmail completely, but sometimes I just switch over to inbox to get that uh, snapshot on the mobile device. Uh, it's a nice user face, uh, something that I would uh, definitely uh, recommend to give it a look at. And again, this isn't for everybody here. This could, uh, some people really love this and some people uh, really don't like this. I've heard complaints of people saying they've lost messages in this, but I think it's a way, uh, whatever way that you start to organize your information. So I hope you like this little uh, uh, walkthrough of Inbox today. If you have, please share it with a few people or give it a thumbs up. And remember, I do these weekly tech tips. Uh, anyway, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.